advantage of it, and right now I'm taking advantage of it. That's how confident and strong-minded I am that I'm going to beat Joseph Parker ass on December 23rd. The Day of the Reckoning is a great title for it because that's what's going to happen. And uh, everybody's going to see, you know, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I woke up today very fresh, um, rejuvenated. Um, the, couple of two, the first couple of days I was here, body was wore down, tired, but it didn't keep me away from going to the gym. Still kept, I, I, I still went to the gym, trained my ass out, but did 23 rounds. Well, I haven't done, tw I haven't done less than 23 rounds since I've been training. And that's non-stop. That's non-stop. No break, no break. No break, no water, nothing, straight through. I don't know no other person is doing that, and that's just, that's some real talk. The second day was 28, the third day was 35, and it continued on. Then we did sparring. The sparring was crazy. I started dropping people in sparring. We started doing all kinds of stuff. I left for Vegas, started training. I came back and sparred. They said, what happened? This is a different man, you know, so I can't wait, man. It's going to be crazy. This is how confident I am. Okay, guys, that is Deontay Wilder before the Joseph Parker fight. And as you guys heard, shout out to Ellie Setback reporting for getting the interview with Deontay Wilder in Saudi Arabia. And you heard him talk about the training that he was doing. Now, he mentioned he did all these rounds, round 23 rounds, no less than 23. The next day, 28. The next day, 35. Then he did sparring, which, hmm. I couldn't really understand what the 23, 28, and 35 was if it wasn't sparring. What are you talking about, laps? What are you talking about? You know, he has to be talking about something else because I could have sworn that's what he was talking about. But nonetheless, um, without water, okay, for one, that's, I never heard of anyone sparring without water. That doesn't even make any sense. I think that, you know, you need water to replenish the sweat and the electrolytes that you are losing as you train. So, yeah, I, I found that kind of strange. Nonetheless, I haven't seen anyone that talked that confident, that talked so much of how hard he trained and how prepared he is than anybody else in the days of reckoning. Everybody else was pretty much, you know, calm, moderate, mediocre even, when it dealt with training, right? Because everything was so fast-paced in the days of reckoning up to the days of reckoning. But with Wilder, though, you know, he went over the top. Now, maybe this just could have been all propaganda, but um, it seems to me like he was ready for this fight. No, I didn't hear the cryotherapy chamber issue or anything like that. He did say he was, you know, the first couple of days he was feeling kind of woozy and worn down simply be, probably because of jet lag. You know, normally I think that's what uh, could have happened with him. But other than that, you know, that stage was over because that said when he first got there, not the time he did the interview on through, okay? Now, he could have done the cryotherapy later, but the cryotherapy is one of those instruments <clears throat> that help you recover. So I, I don't really understand that either, you know, and then I just find it strange. You went from all of this that you were prepared for, the rounds 23 or 28, 35, to I don't know if I got the love for boxing anymore. You know what I mean? Now, inactivity, nothing prepares you like fighting, okay? Not even sparring. But, you know, I just find it real strange how he, like, how he totally uh, did a full circle. You know, he flipped the script. He reversed it on how unprepared he was, you know? And this just shows you what happens when a person wins versus when a person loses, how everything changes, your training, your perception, your desire. It just shows you that it's all about winning and losing. It's not about, hey, I did my best. You know, I tried. I was prepared. No, 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 no. Now it's all about, you know what? Something was wrong. I didn't feel right. I didn't feel good. He didn't feel right. He didn't feel good. Excuse from others, right? You know, and I just find it real strange, but this is another example of Deontay Wilder looking like he was ready for anybody 
before he fought Joseph Parker in comparison to how he was talking after the defeat of Joseph Parker. But you guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you all been Counterpunch. Peace!